This is a rare look inside the Dallas DEA's drug vault. We are in a secret location where there are boxes and boxes piled up to the ceiling. Inside are drugs worth billions of dollars. And the DEA says just one little pill from this mountain of drugs can kill you. It is by far uh, North Texas's most deadliest threat. We are talking about fentanyl, a synthetic opioid painkiller that is taking lives. I've been doing this for well over 20 years now, and what I have seen with fentanyl is frankly just scary. So we're gonna take a look at some M30 fentanyl pills. This is the drug lab where the DEA tests pills for fentanyl. Last year alone, they say they confiscated 11 million deadly doses in DFW. This stuff is so dangerous, there are warning signs inside the lab. We also wear N95 masks here when we're handling all of our evidence. That's because fentanyl in a powdered form can be fatal if inhaled. Fentanyl is 50 times more potent than heroin and 100 times more potent than morphine. This is two milligrams of sugar in this vial, but the DEA says this small amount that you could barely see is all the fentanyl it would take for you to overdose and possibly kill you. And it's being found in pills like this. That sugar packet alone has enough deadly doses for 500 people. It is just simply grains of that substance. The pills are typically blue and stamped with M30 on them, made to look like real oxycodone pills, but these are laced with something deadly. Yes, we have a positive for fentanyl right there. The Center for Disease Control estimates that more than 71,000 people died of fentanyl overdoses nationwide in 2021. And in Texas, fentanyl overdose deaths have increased nearly 500% this year. We have investigations that have permeated every corner of the Metroplex, from the urban areas to uh, rural areas to the suburban gated communities. The drug is really impacting teenagers. In February, we learned three Carrollton teens died after police say they took pills laced with fentanyl and nearly a dozen more overdosed. This woman who asked us not to identify her says her teenage daughter nearly died from it. Y no, no puedo dormir. Mi corazón está hecho pedazos de saber que ella pudo haber muerto. Ella estuvo a punto de morir. She says she had no idea her daughter was even taking the pills. She is now begging parents to pay closer attention. Porque yo me imagino que esto es donde quiera. Y por favor, tenemos que pedir ayudas. Tenemos que estar atentos a nuestros hijos. The DEA says oftentimes the dealers getting into the schools are teenagers using social media apps to attract customers. But to find out where it's really coming from, you have to look to China, where raw fentanyl powder is made and then sold to Mexican drug cartels who press them into pills. It's really um, all about, you know, profit and the profit margin. Federal authorities say the biggest distributor of fentanyl in the U.S. is the notorious and powerful Sinaloa cartel, once run by Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, now in a U.S. prison. But authorities say his family is very much in charge. They've broken the code to be able to try and um, make that raw fentanyl into pills that look very familiar to all of us. While most finished product is coming from Mexico, the DEA says they are finding more pill presses like these when they raid homes. Distributors can press thousands of pills using this machine. Even over the last six months, we have seized several pill press operations here in the DFW area where they're pressing fentanyl pills in their garages. There is a major drug case winding its way through the federal courts in Texas. The DEA says it involves one of El Chapo's top suppliers, Rafael Galindo Gallegos, and his son, who based their operations in Plano and believed to be some of the largest distributors of fentanyl in the U.S. Court documents show that in November of 2019, the DEA raided a storage shed and found ledgers that detailed $5.7 million in U.S. currency and hundreds of kilos of narcotics that were distributed in the DFW area alone. The records also show the men were supplying firearms purchased in the U.S. and smuggled to Mexico. 
those firearms were handed over to the Sinaloa cartel to continue this ongoing drug war and to fight law enforcement and rival cartel members. The FBI says the blood and violence has also spilled into the U.S. and onto our streets. When you have drug trafficking uh, in, in your area, you have violence. Um, it's, it goes hand in hand. Federal authorities say in 2010, Galindo Gallegos ordered a hit on Raquel Ramirez. The mother of two was shot getting out of her driveway in Dallas after dropping off her kids at Bishop Lynch High School. Authorities say her husband, a suspected drug dealer, was taken to Mexico and assassinated. The DEA says while some may look at fentanyl as just pills, it takes blood and violence to get them onto Texas streets and into the hands of teens who may not realize just one pill kills. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca Lopez.